politicians. I'm very reluctant to use the word leaders when I make reference to most African politicians. They occupy positions of leadership, but they are not leaders, most of them. First of all, the intention with which they enter into leadership is the problem. They seek office because they love power and privilege and opportunity that it provides to them. They want to become wealthy. And the easiest and shortest avenue to wealth in Africa today is public office. With the minimum effort, you become a multi-millionaire. They go there in order to be worshipped. And they go there not to do the right thing. And once they have been in office, they do so many wrong things that it becomes dangerous for them to leave office. So their continued occupation of office is also to ensure that they enjoy immunity that comes with office. But when you are a good leader who does the right thing, you do not fear to leave office because nothing has changed. And I've seen leaders of that ilk in, in, in this part of the continent. And there are quite a number of sprinkling of leaders who have left office and are doing great things. Joachim Chisano in Mozambique. If you can put your pohamba in Botswana. Fight against corrupt African politicians leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about a battle that transcends borders, a battle that requires unwavering determination, and a battle that every citizen must engage in, the fight against corrupt politicians. Corruption is a cancer that eats away at the very fabric of our society. It erodes trust in our institutions, hampers economic progress, and ultimately deprives people of their basic rights and dignity. But remember, every great change in history began with individuals who refused to accept the status quo. In this fight, we must first acknowledge our power as citizens. We have the right to demand transparency, accountability, and integrity from our leaders. Our votes are the weapons of change, and we must wield them wisely. But it's not enough to cast our ballots. We must stay vigilant. Corruption often thrives in darkness, so we must shine a light on it. Investigative journalism, citizen watchdog groups, and social media have become powerful tools in exposing wrongdoing. Support and amplify those who dare to speak the truth. Furthermore, we need to foster a culture of ethics and integrity in our communities. Teach our children the values of honesty and responsibility. Lead by example in our daily lives. Corruption starts small and grows if left unchecked. We must cut it off at the root. Let's not forget the power of unity. The fight against corrupt politicians is not a solo mission. It's a collective effort. Join hands with like-minded individuals, organizations, and activists. Together, we become a force that cannot be ignored. I urge you not to lose hope, for even in the darkest times, there are beacons of change. Remember those brave souls who have risked everything to expose corruption and stood up against the corrupt. Let their courage be an inspiration to us all. In conclusion, the battle against corrupt politicians is not an easy one, but it's a battle we must fight for the sake of our future generations. Be the change you wish to see in your country. Demand transparency, support those who fight for justice, and never underestimate the power of a united, determined citizenry. Together, we can and will overcome the scourge of corruption and build a brighter, more just future for all.